Hi kids! Today we will learn about biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. So let's start! All the waste we generate from our households, factories, and farms can be categorized as either biodegradable or non-biodegradable waste. Let's first learn what is biodegradable waste. The waste material that can be broken down in weeks or months by natural agents like water, oxygen, UV rays of the sun, acid rains, bacteria, and other micro and macro organisms into very simple compounds. That is, they dissolve and ultimately becomes part of the soil, are known as biodegradable waste. Example, if you throw some food waste in the soil and let it stay there for a few days or weeks, you will not find it there anymore, as it ultimately gets dissolved and becomes part of the soil. That is, it breaks down into simpler substances. And these simpler compounds are actually nutrients that add to the nutritive value of the soil and make the soil fertile. Different types of waste takes different amount of time to break down. All types of waste that break down in weeks or months and becomes part of the soil are known as biodegradable waste. And such wastes are no threat to the environment. Our kitchen waste is most common example of biodegradable waste. More examples of biodegradable waste are kitchen food waste, manure, sewage waste, slaughterhouse waste, and paper waste. Biodegradable waste can be used in many ways. Biodegradable waste can be used for making compost, which is an organic manure. Biodegradable waste is used for making a source of energy, which is known as biogas. In the absence of oxygen, biodegradable waste decays and produces a gas called methane, which is used as fuel through various biogas plants. And this biogas can be used as a normal fuel for heating, cooking, and even generating electricity. So kids, we learned what are the biodegradable wastes and their uses. Now we will learn what are non-biodegradable wastes. The wastes that cannot break down into simpler molecules by various natural agents in even hundreds of years is called as non-biodegradable waste. Non-biodegradable materials do not react with anything or dissolve in any medium. That is, these kinds of wastes are not affected by any harsh weather conditions like humidity, pressure, and temperature. So these wastes do not contribute to the environment, but are just increasing the size of huge wastelands. And also, the plastic, which is the biggest non-biodegradable waste today, is hazardous to the environment, as firstly, it takes hundreds of years to break down. And when it starts to break down, it releases toxic chemicals that goes in the soil as well as in the air and also goes to the water through soil. So it causes air pollution, water pollution, and soil pollution. So non-biodegradable waste cannot break down and just increases the size of huge wastelands. So, we should recycle them, that is, we should try to reuse them as much as possible. Like, plastic waste can be sent to the plastic recycle center, where it is molded again to make new objects. 
Non-biodegradable objects include aluminum cans, glasses, plastic products, metal scrap, and bottles. So kids, we should always be knowing which kind of material are biodegradable and what kind of wastes are non-biodegradable so that we always prefer to use biodegradable material and save our earth from pollution and dirty, filthy sites. Let's learn what we can do to save our earth from the big waste sites. Always remember, cleaning and protecting our earth starts from our home. So we should reduce the use of non-biodegradable materials so that less non-biodegradable waste is generated. And also, keep different types of waste in different bins. And then, different types of waste should be collected separately or sorted later on. And then each type of waste should be sent to the appropriate recycling center. We should use our waste as much as we can to produce something useful from it, like compost and biogas from biodegradable waste, recycle plastic for making new plastic objects, recycle paper to make new paper from it. Municipal waste can be sent to incineration plants that produces energy from the waste. Chemicals and other hazardous waste should be treated before dumping them in the ground. And there are many and much more advanced waste management techniques that we will learn later on. So kids, today we learned a lot about biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.